Bhagavad Gita, verse 2. Sanjaya said, O king, after surveying the Pandava army, arrayed in military formation, Duryodhana approached his guru Drona Acharya and spoke the following words. Sar Artavashni After understanding the intention of Dhritarashtra, Sanjaya confirmed that there would definitely be a war as Dhritarashtra desired. But knowing that the result would be contrary to Dhritarashtra's expectations, Sanjaya is speaking these words beginning with Trishtva, etc. Here, the word Vyudam means the arrangement of the Pandava army into a strategic formation. Thus, King Duryodhana, who felt fear within himself, spoke nine verses beginning with Pashyetam in the next verse. Sar Ardavarshini, Prakashika Riti. Unfortunately, apart from Dhritarashtra being blind since birth, he was also bereft of both religious and spiritual vision. Thus, at the time of the Mahabharata war, he became overwhelmed with lamentation and delusion. Due to the influence of Dharmakshetra, his son Duryodhana might return half the kingdom to the Pandavas. Fearing this, he became dejected. Sanjaya, being highly religious and visionary, could sense the internal feelings of Dhritarashtra. Although Sanjaya knew that the result of this battle would not be in Dhritarashtra's favor, he very intelligently hid this information and while pacifying Dhritarashtra, he said, Duryodhana is not going to compromise with the Pandavas. Rather, after seeing the extremely strong ar arrangement of the Pandava army, he is personally approaching Duryodhana, his guru in military science, to inform him of the actual situation. Duryodhana had two motives for approaching the Acharya. First, he was fearful upon seeing the formidable arrangement of the Pandava army. Second, on the pretext of giving his guru due respect, he wanted to display his political expertise, by which he was certainly qualified in all respects for the post of king. This is verified here by his diplomatic behavior. This is the essence of the verse, Sanjaya, Uvaja, etc. Duryodhana Among the 100 sons of Dhritarashtra and Gandhari, Duryodhana was the eldest. At the time of his birth, there were various bad omens, which caused many saintly persons, such as Vidura, to fear that Duryodhana would be the cause of the destruction of the Kuru dynasty. According to the Mahabharata, Duryodhana took birth from a part, Amsha, of Kali. He was sinful, cruel and a disgrace to the Kuru dynasty. At the time of his name-giving ceremony, the family priests and other learned astrologers, seeing the indications of his future, gave him the name Duryodhana, one who fights against the injunctions of religious warfare. Finally, after receiving a hint from Sri Krishna, Bhima killed him in such a way that would make one's hair stand on end. Vyuha It is said in Shabda Ratnavali, a vyuha is the formation of a military phalanx 
arranged by an expert king in such a way that it is imperishable by opponents coming from any direction, thereby assuring victory in battle. Drone Acharya Drone Acharya taught the science of weaponry and warfare to the sons of both Pandu and Dhritarashtra. He was the son of the great sage Bharat Raja. Because he was born from a Drona, a water pot, he became famous by the name Drona. He was a great teacher of weaponry and was similarly conversant in knowledge of Veda and Vedanga, auxiliary portions of the Vedas. After pleasing Maharishi Parashurama, Drona Acharya learned from him the secrets of the science of archery and other sciences. Since he had received the benediction that he could die at the time of his own choosing, no one could kill him. After being insulted by his childhood friend, King Trubata of Panjala, Drona Acharya went to Hastinapura to earn a livelihood. Impressed by Drona's qualifications, Grand Sire Bhishma appointed him as the Acharya, one who teaches by example. To instruct and train Duryodhana, Yudhishthira and the other princes. Arjuna was his most dear disciple. In the battle of Kurukshetra, King Duryodhana, by polite persuasion and diplomacy, appointed Drona Acharya as commander-in-chief of the Kaurava army, after Bhishma was no longer in the battle.